Hey, Doc Base Electronics here with a follow-up video to the rotary switch replacement that I did previously on the Regal DS1054Z. Uh, in that video, I showed you how to replace this knob because, uh, as I showed in that knob, if you or in that video, if you're trying to choose things, I had a terrible time where I would get almost to where I wanted it, and then I'd push the button, and it'd shoot off into something that I didn't want. So I found that quite frustrating after using the scope a bit, and so I replaced that, which is detailed in that other video. These, however, are as they came from the factory, which is a smooth, there's no detent on uh, either of these, uh, the trigger the same. Um, and I got a comment from Tinsel Koala suggesting that maybe this detent was causing uh, problems. So say for example you're in cursor mode and you want to get just exactly on a mark uh, that you wouldn't be able to get it because it's going to detent halfway between uh, where you really want it uh, because this is is a kind of a notchy thing which is on purpose kind of like this is uh, down here if you turn uh, the uh, values here those are those are notchy so these three knobs now all behave the same way and these three knobs behave the same way uh, since I have put this in I have used this scope quite a bit and I really like it, but I've never used it to do any measurements with. I've usually I'm trying to make selections of different options with that. So I thought maybe Tensil Koala's got a point. So I made this follow-up video. So now we're gonna cut into a tight shot to show you what happens with the new uh, switch and or the new rotary knob and how it works uh, when you're trying to do fine measurements. I've zoomed into the vertical trigger mark here. You can just barely see the individual pixels and that's as good as I can do with my equipment. But as I move the cursor you can see that each twist of the knob, each detent, moves at one pixel, which is as good as you're going to do on a digital scope. There's no such thing as half a pixel. If I go to the horizontal, the same thing happens. You can see that it just moves one little detent at a time, or one little pixel at a time with each detent. And then if I move it quickly, you can see it jumps. And then, as with other functions, I can get it close. And then if I turn it slowly, it goes step by step to the place that I want it to be. As you can see from that uh, video clip, this detented knob in no way detracts from the accuracy of the scope. If anything, it actually makes it a little easier to use even here. I seldom use this. Uh, let me rephrase that. I never use this for making measurements. It's usually I'm trying to make choices on these side menus, and that's where I got really frustrated with the fact that sometimes you'd click on this and then detent, and it would jump someplace else, and you'd end up with a choice that you didn't want. Uh, I've used this quite a bit now. Since I put the detented knob in, I've taken it out in the field a number of times, and oftentimes the circumstances of field use is, is awkward. Uh, you have to put the scope in one place and stretch the leads to another. And having this be not fussy when I'm trying to make choices has really proven to be uh, a godsend. Uh, but when uh, Tinsel Koala mentioned that, I thought, you know, he might be right. Having never used it in that way to, to make measurements uh, with this, it's something that I wanted to follow up on. Uh, my personal belief is, is that it doesn't make it any better or worse as far as accuracy. It certainly makes it better for making selections. And I also want to throw a shout out here for this uh, scope. 
buy one, uh, take it and take it to work one day and do something like uh, that people just can't do. Because I've had so many people tell me, oh, well, I can't solve that because they've got a multimeter in their hand. And I'm like, you know what? You need a scope to solve that problem. This device here has saved my organization tens of thousands of dollars because I could put it on the problem area, see exactly what was going wrong, take it to the vendor and prove to them that the fault was with their electronics and there'd be absolutely no way you could do that with the multimeter. Bottom line, you know, make things your own is my opinion. I modify stuff the way I like it to be. If you don't want to make the change, certainly don't. But if you're wondering, are you going to hurt something? Well, the answer is I don't think so. So that's all. Enjoy. Hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.